Aaron White here with White Stock and Produce. Today I thought I'd show you how to make a, your own solar fencer. Um, it's winter time, so I got some time on my hands, and so what better place to be in the shop and dinking around with electricity. So anyway, um, a problem that I've been having, uh, my solar fencers usually typically last about a year to a year and a half. And uh, I was just getting fed up with it, and so I started kind of looking around trying to figure out the best way um, that I could do to uh, utilize a, a good solar fencer that won't die on me. And so I constructed my own. So I'll kind of walk you through the process of it, uh, the certain tools that you need for it. And uh, it's really quite simple. You know, if I can do it, I know a lot of other people can do it. I'm not um, the smartest person in the world, but... Um, it, it it was kind of a, a fun little experiment. So let's get right into it. So right here, uh, I got the toolbox open. I'm using a toolbox to um, house um, everything. I kind of cocked it right here, so keep it watertight. That's where the handle was. Um, let's take a look. You're gonna need essentially four things for your solar, your solar uh, charger. Okay, you're going to need a, a 12 volt deep cycle battery. You're going to need a charge controller, which is back there. And then you're going to need a fencer. Okay, uh, typically DC powered fencer. That's what you want. And then, of course, your solar panel. All right. Now, um, I mounted it on something where I can kind of move it around. I'll just hook it up to the four wheeler. This was something that our neighbor had, he threw it in, our, in the scrap pile. I kind of took it, took the tank off. It was for uh, uh, spraying your lawn. I ripped the tank off and basically mounted it on myself. The mount I use, uh, my family, we don't watch uh, satellite or direct TV dish or whatever. And so basically the people that lived before us had one out there and I basically took it down, took the mount for the satellite off and that's what I'm going to use. This is going to be able to help me control the pitch of the solar panel. So. Come wintertime, obviously you want a little bit steeper of a pitch, and then uh, summertime when the sun's higher in the, the sky, I'll kind of roll that back a little bit, and that's what this will be for, help me control the pitch of the solar panel. Anyway, uh, it's all, it, 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 if you buy it, I bought all this stuff, uh, basically the panel and the charge controller, which is right there. I bought that from Amazon. Um, pretty cheap I'll go over the prices here um, but it, it, this will already be connected for you all you got to do is basically connect it to the charge controller so um, the solar panel cost me about 50 bucks okay the charge controller cost me uh, ten dollars all right and there's a the charge controller now essentially what you do is you hook the solar panel into that and then you hook the battery into it and then of course your your load which is the the fencer you're going to connect it into this charge controller all right so basically solar fencer all right your solar fencer um you need it to be rated at 16 to 17 volt rating all right and then for however many joules you're going to have in your fencer you want at 10 watts per joule so uh my um joule rating is uh two joules so i would want at least a 20 watt uh solar panel now i went with a 30 watt just to cover my basis so um uh so 10 watts for every joule that you're gonna have on your fencer all right um your charge controller okay you need it rated at 12 volts uh, with six at least six amps. This is 12 volt with the 20 amps, so I'll be covered with there. And then of course your uh, deep cycle 12 volt battery um, to provide that that um, shock uh, and to store the energy in there. Now the way I kind of constructed it, um, you know. You got to find the wires, the clippings for this to go on that. So essentially, I took it off of here. All right. Um, I chopped off these wires at the end, and basically, that's what these were connected to. And then I just basically cut it off 
and then use that as my clamps to go into the uh, charge controller. All right, so you'd want to chop those off to be able to put those in there. To give you an idea, over here is another one that I've got, okay? So this wire right here, all right, as you can see, I chopped it off. That's what I used to connect it to the charge controller, okay, the battery. So I chopped one off of here. Now, um, you'll just have to buy a new set for that. Um, you know, if you don't want to chop yours off, you know, to, to wire it in, you know, feel free to um, do that. Uh, just buy these separate and then buy some, some of your own wire to connect them in there so you can connect it to there. But essentially, you're going to take the, the part that, uh, the wires that will essentially connect to the battery. You're going to basically chop those off so you can put them in the charge controller and then take these and use them um, to connect the battery to the charge controller. All right, so negative to negative, positive to positive there. Uh, really simple, like I said. Um, you know, the whole thing cost uh, uh, for me to, to make, roughly it was around $210, all right? Um, the solar panel was $50, the charge controller, which is right there, was $10, and then your fencer um, right there was about $150, uh, if I remember correct. So uh, really cheap. Uh, and I get a two, two joule output. Uh, Gallagher produces uh, one that was $330 um, with an output of a half a joule. So mine's going to be a lot more powerful um, and be able to deliver that shock to wake those cows up if they're brushing up against... Uh, brushing up against the fence they know they they shouldn't so um, this construction will also be better because I'm taking the best products and forming them together to make this whereas uh, when you buy a fencer they're taking the cheapest products and putting them together to make their fencer so um, by constructing your own you're essentially going to make a better fencer okay and essentially one that's more powerful as well so, um, you know, just to, to kind of go o over everything, you know, with your, your uh, fence or your solar panel, okay, uh, you want it to, to uh, basically be 16 to 17 volt rating, all right, and then for every uh, joule that you're going to have is 10 watts. So, uh, keep that in mind when, when you're going to buy that. Your charge controller, 12 volts at a 6 amp rating. All right, if you don't know, just go a little bit higher than, than what you expected. Like I said, mine was 12 volt, 20 amps. So uh, I should be able to cover uh, my, my um, power with that. And then, of course, your, uh, your 12 volt deep cycle battery. Um, so for $210, you can construct something uh, similar to this and, and provide you with a continuous um, juice to your electric fence so um, if you ever have any questions or comments and you'd like to to know a little bit more feel free to comment in the in the comments below I'll respond to you as quickly as possible usually it's within a couple hours that I'll respond you know check out my Facebook page it's white stock and produce I'm also going to post this video on there um, and then, of course, if, if you ever just want to write me an email, my email is uh, whitestockandproduce at gmail.com. And I get back to you as, as quickly as I can. And I, I just love to have conversations uh, with, with other farmers or like-minded people. Uh, you know, I want to create videos uh, of things that I do on my farm and my, my successes, my failures, and, and just to let you know that... There are other ways to do things out there, and and uh, you know I love love to hear from you guys. So anytime, uh, just uh, comment. All right. Anyway, so we're gonna give this uh, beast a try, and we'll see how well it works. Until next time, happy farming.